Hey guys, is this filming? Okay, hi guys, Miss Philly here. Thank you for everybody who joined me on my live stream. I really appreciate it. I love talking to you guys. It's always a treat for me when I get to communicate with you and interact with you, but we are at Value Village. Um, I've been literally sitting in my car for like an hour just talking to you guys. Anyway, we're gonna go inside and see if we find anything. Hopefully we do because we need to make money for Toronto because that is coming up really, really quickly. It's a cute Danier bag. Of course they price Danier way too expensive here. Whoop. I think they have this blanket here. Excuse me. I am paying no $50 for a Danny bag. They're on crack. Michael Kors. <clears throat> Ooh, there's this guest tote. It is a big ass tote. Twenty bucks is actually not bad. Uh, no, there's wear on there with that. How much is this? Twenty four ninety nine. They're crazy. What is this? Dutilio. I don't know if that's leather or not. Stella and Dot, I think that's leather. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite movies is A League of Their Own. Has anybody seen that movie? Kind of interesting. What kind of bag is this? Never mind. I've seen that before. <sighs> There's a cute little summery bag. Is that leather? No, I don't think it is. Aldo. Yep, <laughs> I called it. You're unbelievable. Why is this 19.99? It's a oh, Roxy, and they want 20 bucks for it. Crackheads, crackheads. What's this? It feels soft. I don't have time to look at it. Oh, that's interesting. 20 bucks. Want to make crackheads again? Ooh, here's a mat and mat, but it's like fabric. I don't know about that. Corduroy? No boy, no. That's like the fugliest thing I've ever did see. Oh, there's a cute, oh, that's a fake guess. Oh, guys, I don't think there's anything here. Here's a Juicy Couture. One of their um, Daydreamer bags. Seventeen bucks. I guess that's not bad. But Juicy Nocelli Formis Fili. What bag is this? 
leather, London fog. This looks like leather. And it's like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe. I mean, there's not really much peeling on these. It looks like it was thrown in the washer though. Like, look at that. Why would they like, I don't know. It looks like one of their cheap end shit, you know? But it is leather. And the straps are intact. I don't know if this would be like a desirable kind of bag for someone to have. I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting color and design, but 20 bucks is kind of a little pushing it. Did I see a fake coach here somewhere? Oh, here. That is the fugliest fake coach I've ever did see. I bet they want 20 bucks for it too. I will go with $24.99. Oh, my first call was right, 20. Okay guys, we found nothing here. Let's move on to the next store. El nada, el nada, el nada. <coughs> okay, let's see for other stuff. Do we see any longchamp? Do you guys see any longchamp? Because I don't. <laughs> Where is this Ikea? You know what I've been struggling with a lot lately is being being happy with what I have and being grateful for the way things are. <clears throat> um, and like, say you kind of have something in your life, right? And you should be thankful for the way it is rather than wishing it would be something else. I think that's something I've been struggling with a lot lately. And I don't know, it's just kind of like a work in progress and something I've been really trying to improve on and and yeah intercom from back in the day interesting I feel like houses in Beverly Hills had that in the 80s what's this multi-surface care kit ooh leather protector cream guide to furniture leather protector cream ooh I think we'll get this because it's brand new in the package and it's like five bucks and I have a two dollar off coupon you can never have enough leather cleaner. This is the leather cleaner that I do use, but I think it's open, so I don't know how long it's been in there, how old it is. But this one is unopened, so we're gonna get this. And it has like a fabric cleaner and a wood care furniture polish. 263 ml, so that's not bad for the size. Oh, mo shit over here. <coughs> Look at that TV, and they want like 80 bucks for it. It's kind of a little excessive if you ask me. What is that thing? Don't tell me it's gonna be worth a lot of money and then I'm gonna come back and it's not here again. Toby, what do you do, Toby? Oh, are you like a vacuum? What do you do? No, I don't want you. Um, 
remember these cameras? Oh, is this a camera? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cute little fruit holder. Oh, they have this scale. This is a cute scale. Taylor, stainless steel. I wonder how accurate it is though. But what if it's super heavy? Do I need this? I still have like two leather cleaners to left. I don't know if I want it. Maybe I will Google it and see how much it costs for... Ooh, what's this? Maybe I can resell it, I don't even know. Okay, the price for this is like... Forty bucks for this server, and it's like totally old school. Like you can tell from the shape of it that it's like the old school buffet server, and it's not even that deep. Like what? And the fact they want like forty bucks for it is kind of a little excessive. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, well, I guess it's Pyrex. Seems a little much to me. But I mean, actually, I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to Google the brand and see what, how much it is. So this is classic. It, it works fine. And I like that this is really simple. Like, you, you could kind of control the temperature. But this is like a vintage piece from, like, the 80s, I think. These are, like, Pyrex. So I know that's a good bat brand. Um, but, I mean, for 40 bucks, Like, they have one on eBay, brand new in the box, for $65. I don't know, and I just feel like it's not deep enough. I don't know. And plus, I think if I were to have like house parties and like have um, buffet servers, I kind of want them to be all the same. Like all, like I'll have like three buffet warmers and they're all gonna be like the same brand and the same look. And then that might just like clash with it. <laughs> I don't know. If it was like $29.99, I would get it, but not for like, not for, 40 bucks, that's way too much. Hey guys, Miss Philly here. We are at the Long Far Value Village, which is the um, the Unicity West, West End, Unicity one. Anyway, we didn't find anything at the Value Village at uh, Polo Park, which is unfortunate. Like I was gonna get that leather cleaner stuff, but then I was like, uh, I have like two bottles of the leather cleaner and conditioner that I usually use. So whatever, we didn't, we ended up not getting it. I found the Danye leather bag not to be really good quality, like the $20 one. And the $50 one, we weren't going to get that because we ain't spending no $50 on Danye leather. And um, even though I do have a 30% off coupon. Anyway, we're gonna go inside, check it out. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? What is this? A lucky brand. They want like a hundred dollars for it. No, that ain't happening. What is this? Mm. Matinette for forty-five. I don't think so. This one's fifty dollars. That is Danier probably. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I've got this stuff. What do they have here? Oh, they have Jean Paul Gaultier. I think we'll look at that. I don't know how much that is, though. Can I Yes. So we're going to get this. And then we're going to get this as well. Yeah, no, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's a really good deal for those two because I know that, I'm not sure if it's a Jean-Paul Gaultier retails for, but I know the Givenchy Angel de Mont. I actually just spelled, uh, 
I sprayed it and it smells so good. And the fact that it's $30. I knew, I know like the other Givenchy one that I um, had purchased was like way over $100, so. Mm -hmm. And I might use my 30% off, I'm not sure yet. be like vegan leather. 20 bucks. What brand is this? I don't think there is a brand, but it's like really well made. It's like a bucket bag style. We might hold on to this. Oh, this is cute. Um, is this leather? I'm not 100% sure if they're, oh no, I think this is pleather, so we're not going to get that. Oh, um, it's called uh, Givenchy, or Givenchy. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually over there. I, um, oh, really? Yeah, they had it uh, for sale in the counter. He passed away last weekend. Pardon me? The designer, the Vinci. Oh, yeah. He passed away last weekend. I heard something about that. Do you like to thrift? No. If you're with Molly, you'll find something like this. I know. Last year I found her Oh wow, really? I looked it up online and it was worth a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I find it, I, t I tend to have a lot of luck at um, Regent, the oh. Darren one. Oh, there? Yeah, it's oh, really okay. far, but I find like, I, I found like a lot of good stuff there. Kamana's pretty good, but you gotta really look. Yes, and it's so overpriced though. It is, it is. Like they're, like the stuff that they know. Yeah. Yeah. Something good, you're like, ugh, that's all I need. Yeah. <laughs> I just, uh, I found a, a, um, uh, it's called, it's a Bottega Veneta. It's like a wallet. Oh, yeah. I found it for a dollar at the Pol um, Jefferson Valley Village. I sold it on eBay for 150 okay. <laughs> Hmm? What kind is it? It's called Bottega Veneta. Mm -hmm. It just it's the the pattern is like a weaving kind of pattern, right. so it's really easy to identify it. Right. Yeah. I found, but I I found like two or three really good ones at that, that same shop. Oh really? Yeah, and they're like, Oh wow. <laughs> Did you? Of course you have like, to. <laughs> bins for like lockdown and they're on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> like it's leather. Joanno, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand before, but this is like a coach just from looking at it. Is it coach? Oh, it's Nine West. <laughs> but this feels like a really nice leather. I think we might just have to get that Oh, is this? Oh, it's a blush. I thought it was B. Mikowski. It's from the B. I would hate to you. Oh, here's a Marc Jacobs Parfum, two ninety nine. Um, I don't want to use the just that one. 
the my 30% off coupon on just one item, you know, or oh, two items as well. But I have been on the lookout for perfume, so the fact that I can get it for 30% off, I guess that might work rather than spending full price on it, you know. Here's Victoria's Secret, which is this $8.99, and it comes with a pouch. It's not bad. Oh, dang yay. $32.99, oh my god, they're insane. There's a fake Fendi. It doesn't even feel like leather. And a fake Coach for 30 bucks. Yeah, no. It is a cute bag, but not for $32. It doesn't even have the strap to go with it. We found that much money in that bag, so that bag's already making me money. <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> I think this is like from 1990, what? Oh, 2004. I don't even know what it plays. I think it, play, it says it plays PVDs. I don't think it plays DVDs. So it's not universal. You have to buy like their specific um, videos for this, I think. Wow, this is so vintage. I thought it was interesting. Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Um, okay, so we just came from Value Village, uh, Unicity. And we picked up a couple of things. We only ended up picking and popping on these two fragrances. Okay, I smelled this one, this Givenchy. The Givenchy um, Ange, oh, Ange au Demon. Um, I think it's Angel and Demon. It's what it's called. But this is a full-size bottle. This is 100 mLs. And I know this retails for whatever this says. <laughs> so to get, I got both of these fragrances for $40, $44. So $22, no, yeah, $22 a piece. I'm going to take off the the, uh, the price tag since it kind of cheapens it. I wonder if there's people that take the price tag off and put it on something else and then return it. I bet people do that. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so we took it off. Oh, this, they describe this as oriental floral. Yeah, oriental floral. And yeah, it's uh, 100 ml, so it's 3.3 fluid ounces. And it's, uh, it's only like missing that much. Like it's not a lot that's been, there's no cap, which is okay. But I did spray it and I did like it. I mean, you guys know when I went to Sephora like a few few weeks back that I did pick up uh, the newest Givenchy perfume and I didn't really like it th that much. Um, but yeah. But yeah, so that's why, I mean, for this for $22, you can't go wrong with that, even though if there's no cap. <laughs> I'm going to roll my window down because it's super hot right now. Um, I'm going to go over there and park. I think it's better lighting. Okay, guys, so this perfume I did not try yet. It is the Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, I've had this a long time ago, like a long time ago. So I'm going to spray it and see what it smells like. This one, the Angel Dumont. Ange Dumont. Smells really good. Hmm, do I like that? Okay, I kind of like it. It's the Jean-Paul Gaultier, um, what is this called? Classic. So it's a classic Jean-Paul Gaultier. Yeah, I kind of, I don't know. Do I like it? I don't mind it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind it. I kind of like it. I'll use it. For $22, yeah. It's very like, I don't know. I kind of like it. Is this 100 ml? Yeah, it's 100 ml too. And made in France. So that's good. Uh, we'll take this price tag off and we will keep this one too. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's not as strong as the Givenchy one, but that's fine. Yeah, it's kind of like a... It's like, a, it's like a fresh scent. It's like very summery. This one, the Givenchy one, I think it's more kind of like evening. So it's a good contrast for both. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, guys, that's basically all we got from Value Village, two fragrances. I mean, it's proof in the pudding that you can thrift um, designer high-end fragrances for a fraction of the cost. And yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of torn about the Givenchy one. Yeah, I think I kind of like it. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's strong. Like, I don't know. I just smell sweat because <laughs> anyway anyway that's all we got um i don't know i don't know if there's gonna be any more footage for this vlog if there is there is if there isn't there isn't okay i'll see you guys in the next clip or video bye hey guys we are at value village the one by my house um that one over there there <laughs> um i just did some errands we're gonna check out if they have anything today Hopefully they do. I mean, sometimes this place yields some good stuff, so hopefully. I actually have to start looking at stuff here because I know Nancy finds some stuff over here too. This is interesting. All from Pier 1. And we have Adidas's over there. Size 11. It looks kind of cute. It looks like a GWP though. Actually, no, I think it is a legitimate, like, is this GWP? Hmm. Look at it, I have a, I have a 30% off. I don't know if I want this though. It's a big kind of, uh, it looks like it would be a GWP. It's like a big Calvin Klein. It's a nice duffel bag, but well, I don't know, 30 bucks seems a little bit much for it. Someone said they wanted this. It is kind of cute for like two bucks. I don't know. How much would I price that at? I don't even know. Like <laughs> 10 bucks, five bucks. Is it worth shipping? Shipping is like expensive. I don't know. I'm kind of fuzzled. Max Studio. They have that fake Michael Kors in the showcase, like totally fake. <laughs> What's this? Is this lug? This is... Oh, Belkin. Reminds me of the Rebecca Minkoff that I got. This is the place that we found the Bottega Veneta wallet for a dollar. No, yeah, a dollar or something. There's an eel skin bag. Oh, I see a lug. $7.99, that's not bad. What is it, toe up from the flow up? 
Uh, actually, no, uh, a little bit though. Yeah. But for $7.99, you can't go wrong with that. You might. I might get it for my sister because I know she's looking for a bag. What is this? This looks like quality. It's oh, Franco Sarto. This guest bag looks fab, kind of. $16.99, it's not bad actually. Ugh, let's take a look at it. I mean, just the look of it. There's like not much wear on it too. Maybe, we'll just hold on to things. We'll just hold on to things and then slowly um, put things back that we don't want. Hush puppies. What is this? I guess someone got the other guest bag, the ombre pink one. That one was kind of cool. I just was, it was, I wasn't sure about it. That's why we didn't get it. It's kind of interesting. If it was a brand name, which it's not. Givenchy Parfum. We don't want that. Is that baby fat? Yeah, it is. Four ninety nine. Why are you complaining? What brand are you? The Serga? Is this even leather? I don't even know. I'm gonna put all the shit that we might get over here. Okay, we might get this little sports sack. We might get this guest. We might get this lug. And we might get this Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein seems a little expensive, but it's brand new. I don't think it's a GWP. It's too big to be a GWP. I don't know. Okay, let's go, go over all this. This is kind of cute too, but I don't know if it's leather. If it's leather, we might get it. cute kind of uh have this Calvin Klein. It's kind of cute, but I don't know. 30 bucks. So it'd be like 22 after taxes. I don't know if I can get my money back for this. And I don't even think it's like real leather. Like I mean it's obviously like a travel bag. Nice quality though. And then we have this guest one, which I think looks really cute too. It's a nice kind of like Alma style. And there's like hardly, oh, never mind. There's like cracking on the handles. We can't deal with that.
Hey guys, Miss Philly here. Okay, so we just came from Value Village by my place. I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul because we did buy a few things. Um, yeah, <laughs> I ended up passing on the lug bag just because it is, um, like it's a lot of wear on it. Like granted it was $8, but I was thinking I was gonna get it for my mom or my sister, but at the same time, it's kind of like really well worn. And I think it doesn't have that much life left in it. So whatever, I passed on that. I ended up popping on this Calvin Klein duffel bag. It's brand new, never used. Um, I don't think it's a GWP. If it is, it's a really good quality one. Um, I like that it has a lock detail right here and it has the basic spell out right here. I mean, for 30 bucks, it was a little bit expensive. I didn't use my 30% off, but I figured I can maybe sell it for like 40. Um, yeah, for like $40. I think it's well worth it. I mean, I think it would make like a good travel bag. It has like the little ID patch there and it's really, really like big, see? It's like super huge. Um, it'll make like a good travel bag, I think, anyway. I did look at <laughs> I did look at several other um, Calvin Klein duffel bags online and they can range anywhere from like 80 to uh, $200 brand new so I it was like all over the place I guess it depends on style and you know materials and whatever but I bought it regardless if it doesn't sell within seven days on the sixth day maybe I'll return it because I was really really iffy on that I mean I think it is overpriced if it was $20 it was uh, investment risk that's worth it but for 30 bucks is a little and i have a lot of other duffel bags like i would like to keep it for myself but i do have a lot of other double duffel bags that i have like my Daniel leather one which is like in perfect brand new perfect condition leather and nylon it's just a really luxe bag and then i have my suede one and i have my ralph lauren polo one that hasn't sold so this might be a little bit iffy i don't know we'll see oh i'd also like to let you guys know my depop was shut down because i apparently like you know i had some like louis vuitton inspired items up and i guess if you get too many no notifications of doing that or warnings your depop shut shuts down i can't open a new one because my paypal is under my name so my depop is done um the links won't work i have nothing posted there i did open a miss philly's selling page called miss philly selling page on instagram so check that out i'm going to list my stuff there and we'll do things through paypal obviously so that you're protected as a consumer but yeah i've never had any problems with anything like that when doing like outside of depop so a lot of my items will be posted on depop so check them out there and <laughs> depop will be posted on instagram so the link will be in the down bar miss philly selling page at instagram anyway I thought this was a little bit expensive, but I know Bath and Body Works candles are like $13.50 usually, Canadian. And Bean Pod soy candles are expensive. They're like $30. And this one smells really like woodsy and very wintry. It's called Winter Woods, and I like the smell of it. Very like masculine. So that's why I picked that up for $9 and paid full price for that. I didn't want to risk using my 30% off coupon because I might go thrifting tomorrow and find more things at more expensive things that I want to get. And then the last couple of things I got were these Bath and Body Works um, Be Enchanted uh, lotions. They're sealed. I guess they did that just so people that don't, you know, open them up and, you know, screw around with them. But they were like $6 a piece. I mean, they retail for, I think, $12. Sometimes it's like 5 for 25 So it's, oh, 5 for 25 That would make them like $5 each. So I overpaid for these. <laughs> But I was thinking of just like using these as just gifts for people, not re not for reselling. But I mean, adding them as an, like an extra gift to someone's um, major gift. Because like when I give gifts, like for birthdays or Christmas, I usually have like a major gift and then like small little things that are like extras. So I thought these would be good extras for for that price. I mean, I might have overpaid, but whatever. I mean, I looked it up on on Bath and Body Works website. It was twelve dollars, but I know they have those deals where you get like five for twenty five. But whatever. I guess I paid a dollar more than I should have. And then the last thing I got was this bag. I thought it was, oh, sorry, I got one more thing. I got this strap. Um, it was only $1.99. Usually they price these at like $4.99. But I figured one day I will need a Safiano leather um, strap with silver hardware for a bag. So I did buy it for like two bucks because, you know, as a spare strap for a bag. Because sometimes I thrift bags without the crossbody strap. 
Anyway, the last bag we got was this. I don't know what brand this is. Via Spiga. Via Spiga. But it is, I don't know. It's made in China. I don't know if it's leather, but it feels like Safiano leather. And this feels like suede, but I'm not, I can't guarantee that it's leather. I just really thought it was really cute. It's like a navy color blue, but I like the cutouts on the, it's very like Hervé Leger dress. And then this like suede paneling or faux suede. I don't know if it's faux, but it's like really nice. Even the inside, the, the lining just seems really nice and like satin like and it looks like it's really well made so i might have to google the name and see if it's actually leather or not but this was like 25 dollars, so it was a little bit pricey but i hope to get like locally i would probably price this at maybe like 40 and then i think like on my instagram selling page i would probably post it for like uh 55 us maybe I don't know, I'll look up the brand and see what, what it is, but I thought it was just an in interesting kind of tote bag with that detail. Anyway, yeah, that's all that we got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for coming thrifting with me. I do appreciate it. All my links will be on the down bar, my Instagram, all the social media, the Twitter, the Snapchat, my Patreon. Um, so if you donate to my Patreon, I will be doing videos for those people um, the first or the first week of the month, the following month after you donate but i will be posting some like exclusive content as well um on my patreon specifically for my pa people who have subscribed and donated to my patreon because i really really appreciate it um yeah a little update on that though like i'm not like my my youtube earnings this month have not been doing that well just because a lot of my videos have been demonetized because um i guess when you when your one of your videos gets flagged or whatever for whatever reason it'll get demonetized and um then the next couple of videos after that will get automatically demonetized as well which is unfortunate because a lot of my views come in right away so after like the three or four days it's they decide to monetize it again because it is you know advertiser friendly I, i'm not making any more money off of it because all my views had already come in you know so it's really disappointing that that's that has to happen like that but that's why you know i'm still reselling and i'm still you know trying to pump out videos for you guys and trying to find other multiple streams of income just so i'm not relying solely on youtube because like you know last month i made four thousand dollars this month i'll probably make about two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars like yeah it's a big chunk of money but when you know you rely on that money as income as a life you know it's really difficult to when it's unpredictable that way because i don't get me wrong i love youtube because it's unpredictable that way you can make an insane amount of money but at the same time you might not make my uh, as much the next month you know so yeah i that's where i'm at when it comes to youtube um probably why you're seeing a lot of videos coming out for me just to you know make up that income because you know i'm not trying to suffer quality with you guys but i do want to pump out more videos not only because you guys enjoy them but also you know to make up for that income as well but anyway regardless i hope you guys enjoy this video i love you i'll see you in the next one bye